Helix. Stan, let's start off by talking about this final exam alternative you give your upper level biology students. There's this adage that, well, you really don't know something. You haven't learned something unless you can teach it to somebody else. Why not offer my students the alternative of writing a children's book on all the diseases that cause abdominal pain that a kid might get in his or her school cafeteria? And I offered this as a choice, and guess what? The students chose that alternative. <laughs> yeah, and so talk about that, because you're testing two very different things here. From an experiential learning standpoint, what do you believe are the differences in learning outcomes between these two final exam options? The first alternative with regards to exams is I would consider a more standard, squeezing the water out of a sponge squeezing facts out of the brain and spilling it onto the page to see w whether they've learned a sufficient amount of material. But here is something different. I show them a picture of the grandchild of interest and say, this is your audience. And I want you to teach them what you know at a level that they can understand. Given the, the a cohort of students that are willing to do that, they really get enthusiastic about sharing what they know. 